Welcome back guys. In this episode, I am fitting two Max Air fans to my long wheelbase Sprinter. Um, I have managed to earn a favor and I have the use of a warehouse today, um, a unit, because days like today, it's lovely outside and then all of a sudden there's a downpour and not good when you're cutting holes in the roof. So today I'm hoping to do everything associated with cutting all the holes in my roof and sealing them up and i'm going to pick the van up tomorrow so it has 24 hours for everything to cure um, and go off and keep me in the dry and uh it's freezing outside as well so this offers me a bit of respite from that too when you're doing these um fan installs a bit like everyone else you want to cover the inside so that the swarf and maybe even the panel itself doesn't fill your van so here we are top side. Um, I have actually chosen to go for the prefabricated frames that are available on eBay. Uh, I'm in the UK, they came from America. So by the time you've paid postage, they are probably a bit much for what they are, but the position that they are, they're the most vulnerable area. Um, I've seen how a couple of people do them where they pack them up with either the bitumen butyl tape or strips of plastic. Now, these are pre grooved perfectly for every rib of the roof of a sprinter van. Um, so much so that if I put it that way, pushes the fan too far forward because I've just been measuring on the inside and I was I was a bit like oh spin it round that little groove there sits in between these two ribs absolutely lovely and it makes it perfectly central to the two rails on the inside so everything's done for you all the position is done the same I've got another one for the for the front slightly different shape because it is a slightly different shape but this just gives me that peace of mind um, that it's two flat surfaces with only uh, one strip of tape in between them. Like I say, tiny bit expensive for what they are, but water ingress does freak me out. Um, and this is gonna go a whole lot better and easier and more peace of mind um, with the way this is. I'll show you how tight the fit is. So here we are side on for example, it's got a tiny groove out of there, it runs along there, it dips down into the perfect contours of the van, back up again, honestly worth the money, I would advise always getting something like this. So the instructions that come with these um, frames or rings um, suggest that you put three thin beads of silicon or Sikaflex or whatever their proposed bonding agent is, and we use Sikaflex over here quite a lot, um, three beads right the way around, ooze it down, they don't even suggest that you need to clamp it and things like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly put a half lapped strand of the butyl tape around the furthest internal edge as the last resort as such a nice soft bed for it to sit on and then I'm going to do a nice continuous bead of Sikaflex around the outside um, to stick it down watch it ooze out take care of that after uh, so I'm doing a bit of both um, I don't fully trust this. I like to see a bit of a bit of splurgy stuff, um, but also I know that it is nice for it to bed down onto.
So I put a butyl ring around the, the frame that I bought, followed by a bead of silicon. I pressed that down. I could feel that oozing quite nice and pretty much I could see it just about starting to ooze out. Then I put a butyl ring around the frame that comes with the max fan because that's what it suggests there's, there's almost like an inch and a half of flat area so there's a nice chunky for water to get through there and track along can't see that happening but then what I did is I put my perimeter a sycaflex around between the roof and this foam ring that I've bought. And what that allows is the silicon to actually drive in that gap. And then when I've screwed it down, you can then watch it all lose out so you know that it's in there um, and it's gonna do the job. Just put in a, a seal around the outside. Um, that's almost just sticking one surface to the next where which what you actually want is it to go inside. Now, it is black on black, so it should remain pretty good looking, but I'm just going to use a Fugi anyway. So with this joint, you're not trying to win any awards. No one's ever going to see it. It's more important that it is integral in its in its job but there's no need to be a mucky pup I'm using a a boogie hopefully I was gonna say hopefully you can see it but hopefully you can't see it so that's what it's like when it's oozed out and all you do is get your foogie in there and you just pull it along there like that which has given that basically seamless that shimmer there that you can see, that'll get washed off with my with my wipes. So yeah, do that all the way around. So, both fans are in, both fans are on. I've temporarily wired them up. Um, really happy with how they came out. No messy silicon everywhere. Looks absolutely cracking. And tomorrow morning, just because it's being delivered tonight, I'm going to cover these over with some white Sikaflex. Um, bit of an error on my part. I've been buying black, 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 black. Obviously, that will need to be white.